Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Selenium Training Program. In the last session, uh, we discussed uh, how to download and uh, configure Jenkins in our machine. So the next and the most important thing is how to run our code from Jenkins. Right. Uh, before jumping on and uh, running our code from the Jenkins, the first and the most important thing which we need to consider is once after you are done with your scripting, make sure that you are able to run your test script from the command prompt successfully okay if you are able to run your test script from the command prompt successfully then automatically your jenkins can recognize it and you can perform the operations good so what i'm going to do right now means i'm considering my automation testing project so this is a maven project as uh, in the previous lecture we have already studied what is a maven project and how to create a maven project so right to click on the project go to the properties and uh, i'm identifying the location and i'm just clicking on a show in explorer okay it's just pointing to my for a uh, project workspace in which i'm navigating to my project so this is what my project here which has a pom.xml file so here i'm trying to open the command prompt from this folder so directly i entered a cmd and i hit an enter button so my command prompt is a pointing from this particular folder c users estrogen workspace automation testing good enough so once it got uh, populated the next and the most important commands we need to run is maven compile and mvn test these are the two different uh, commands of which we need to cross check or which we need to use in the command prompt to see whether our script is executing or not mvn compile i'm just using the first command now so it's going to compile the complete source code and it will show us if there are any errors or warnings within our source code so let us see here it's executing and the build is a success good enough and the next thing is mvn test so let me run it so whenever you have a specify mvn test it's trying to build the project and now it will try to execute your test script from the command prompt so the automation uh, test script it has uh, some logic which will launch a browser and it will perform some operation on a browser so the same thing it's performing here it's launching a browser and it's opening the app and it's trying to perform certain operations on a browser that's fine somehow my script got a fail so all the details it got executed and everything got printed in the console successfully so the thumb rule out over here is once we confirm that we are able to run our automation scripts from the command prompt then we can take this code okay then we can take this code to the jenkins from where we can run this script okay from where we can run this script good enough so i have a successfully performed this operation and now another command of which we need to remember is for suppose in your project if we have a multiple runners so in this project basically under the runner class we have a example runner and a test runner assume that you have a 10 different runners are there among all those runners if you want to execute only one specific runner then mvn hyphen d test is equal to runner name space test you have to give so here i can specify my runner name is one test runner one space a test this will be executing only that particular runner among all the runners whatever you have okay good enough done the deal so this is the way we confirmed that i was able to execute my test script from the command prompt now i'm switching to my jenkins and i just want to configure a job in a jenkins let's switch back to jenkins now so i'm opening my jenkins here so this is how my jenkins looks like and i would like to create a new job so new and uh, i'm naming it as bdd framework demo 
and by default I'm picking up a freestyle project and clicking on an OK button as soon as you clicked on this OK button it's going to create a new project here for me in which I need to perform a complete configuration of my Jenkins job here so here if your project is in git or subversion you can specify the information and the repo url whatever the credentials you want automatically your test scripts will be pulling it uh, this jenkins job will be pulling your source code from this repository whatever you have specified like this you can specify your required information whereas in my situation i don't have my source code in gen uh, kit as of now so i have my source code in my local machine so click on advanced and if you see too many options are populated among those you have a one option use a custom workspace click on that and you need to specify the directory where we have your pom.xml so here automation testing this is what my pom.xml directory is copy it and place the directory here so my meaning is in this particular directory we have a pom.xml this is what the custom directory i have specified and now if i scroll down what it needs to perform see here build triggers so if i choose this build periodically i can say that with this particular option run every two hours run after four hours such kind of a periodic operation we can perform using this build triggers and even you can do configuration here and a build means what kind of an options you have to do see for me i need to use a maven test right so for which i'm using invoke top level maven targets here from the build and here it is suggesting me the maven version among those i have already configured my maven home in a global tool configuration i am picking that and my requirement is mvn space test is an option which will be triggering my maven test so as we are already specifying the maven hence i can remove these mvn keyword here and i can directly use a test option automatically it will be triggering my test and the similar way you do have an option to configure the post build actions these are post build actions you know email notifications once after my script got executed you can trigger an email those kind of an options you can do which we will see in the next session but for now i just configured the only thing is i specified my project location followed by the maven test and i'm clicking on a save button as soon as i clicked on a save button this is the screen it's populating which is our project bdd framework demo and i'm clicking on build now as soon as you clicked on a build now see here it's executing first time and here in the console output it's going to see the complete information about the execution whether it's got passed whether it got a fail what is the reason behind the failure whether it is executing or not the complete information it's going to populate here with the details just we need to understand these details and we need to see whether it is executing or it's getting failed so the java environmental variable is not defined correctly then this environmental variable needs to be run so java home should be pointed to jre jdk not jre so i guess we made some mistake here so what i'm going to do right now means go to manage jenkins and under which global tool configurations where we have a configured our jdk see i pointed to my jdk itself c program files the java jdk bin does not looks like the jdk folder okay let me save till this jdk okay and now let us see here whether the build is executing or not see it's still trying to execute this one so invoke the top level management let me close this process so it should stop the execution okay back to the project and now abort it and let me try to build it again so i'm just trying to build it now so as soon as you clicked on a build now the second execution will be triggered but 
build one is already in a progress so there is some issue with my build one because of which even though i clicked on terminate it's not terminating and even when i start a new job it's depending on my previous job so let's wait for a few seconds until the build one got terminated and see how it's going to work so this Javi is uh, continuously running. So what I'm doing now means in my command prompt, let me stop my Jenkins server and close this tab completely. And uh, let me relaunch my um, Jenkins. Okay. So command prompt Java space hyphen jar space Jenkins dot aware. I'm just trying to start my Jenkins server once again. The reason is earlier it took more time for me even to terminate that particular instance as well hence i'm creating uh, i'm just restarting my jenkins to see whether it is updating the info properly or not see jenkins is up and running now and i'm trying to open my local host 8080 and let us log in into this jenkins job the jenkins environment and uh, here what i want to do right now is whatever the job we have uh, created earlier bdd framework okay it's trying to run the second job okay so let us see it's trying to work on this particular job and it is uh, stating that build is a success total three run and such info is displaying okay go back and let me try to build it now Okay, I'm just trying to re-execute my job again. See, the third instance is getting created. And uh, see, this time it launched in my browser and it is performing the desired operation. So this is the way how exactly we can create a job and automatically it will be executing that information. Good enough, done the deal. So my test script got executed successfully from the Jenkins okay good enough so let me refresh my project once in an eclipse data and in the test results folder let us cross check see here my script got executed and the execution results i can see here in this particular editor so we can share this test execution report so if at all you want you know you can directly share this test execution report from your machine so this is the way how to create a job how to observe the log here for a Jenkins job and how can we execute that so in this project the only thing if I want to change my configuration click on config so in this project if you clearly observe we have a specified the project location and directly we are using a MVN test to execute it so let us see how can we configure a post build actions in order to send an email notifications we will be studying in the next lecture thank you very much bye bye